Hi there, my name is Alana, and you could say I have a bit of an obsession with Charlotte Tilbury. For me, the product that started it all, the product that started the obsession, is her lipsticks, and in particular, her kissing lipstick formula. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. These are my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and I think this video in particular will be very helpful if you have a complexion similar to mine. So really, these are the 10 Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I most recommend for those with a fair and neutral complexion. So with that being said, in today's video, we are going to try on all these lipsticks. I'm going to show you the lipstick bullets up close and personal. I'm going to show you swatches so you can see how they all look compared to each other. And my hope is that in this video, you might discover a new favorite. So in the description box down below, I have my Charlotte Tilbury playlist. It links to nearly 60 videos that I've created dedicated to Charlotte Tilbury makeup. This video is also as I prepare to do a full collection of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. At last count, I believe I have over 50 now. So without any further ado, let's get started. One more thing before we get into the video, Charlotte has two formulas. She has her kissing formula, which is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury formula, and that is her satin lipstick. She also has her matte revolution, which is her soft matte lipstick. Now, while her mattes are matte, they're definitely not flat and drying. As somebody with dry skin, I'm very sensitive towards drying lip products. And as you can see, I'm wearing one of her matte lipsticks right now. It looks beautiful, but it's incredibly comfortable on the lips. I will say I still have a preference towards her kissing formula, but I think we all have our own makeup preferences and that is just mine. So let's try these on. Rich Perfect is one of the first Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I ever had the opportunity to fall in love with. It's a beautiful light peachy pink and I find it just so flattering. This is a lipstick that I wear all the time. I actually had to pull this lipstick out of my purse. It's one of my sort of designated purse lipsticks. And what I mean by that is it's a lipstick that lives in my purse. The reason, other than the fact that I just love it, I love the formula, I love the color, but one of the reasons that Bitch Perfect gets to live in my purse is I find it works with basically any makeup look that I'm doing. I know that whether I've got a kind of darker, more dramatic eye, whether I've got kind of, I feel like what I have going on right now is very like a, a standard Alana makeup look, but whether I go darker and smoky or lighter in every day, I know that Bitch Perfect pairs really, really nicely. So I don't have to worry too much about pairing my lipstick with my look because for me, the looks I do, Bitch Perfect always matches well. The Very Victoria is another lipstick that I can often find in my purse. Now the Very Victoria formula is actually, I think one of the most unique lipstick formulas that Charlotte has available in a bullet. It is definitely the lightest coverage. It's the lightest feeling on the lip. Honestly, as I apply it to my lips, I almost feel like I'm just adding shapewear or lingerie, you know, something really, really subtle, but it just lifts, it adds a bit of tint, and I think it really does polish out a look. For me, Very Victoria is a truly neutral lipstick. I think it's a beautiful sort of soft muted rosy tone, and it's something, again, that matches with effectively any eye look that I put together. Now, this one is obviously a little bit darker than Bitch Perfect, a little bit more neutral to cool leaning, but really something that just works with everything and it just feels so light and soft on the lips. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything at all. Of all the lipsticks that Charlotte Tilbury has ever released, I honestly think that JK Magic is my perfect shade. I describe JK Magic as if Bitch Perfect and Pillow Talk had a baby. It has that beautiful, soft kissing formula, which is that beautiful satin. I, I will say that the kissing formula is my favorite of Charlotte's lipsticks, but this JK Magic, it's like a slightly lighter and softer pillow talk, but in that satin formula. I think it is so pretty, so flattering, and if you have a complexion like mine, I think you are going to love it. Now, Pillow Talk is Charlotte Tilbury's most famous lipstick, and I will say famous for a reason. So, so pretty, so flattering. This is in her Matte Revolution formula, and I will say that for a matte formula, the Charlotte Tilbury matte lipsticks in the bullet feel so comfortable on the lips. They're non-drying. They sit wonderfully on the lips. So while I'm not a big fan of mattes, I am a fan of her mattes. This is just, again, just a beautiful sort of dusty rose pink. I find the lipstick itself pulls a little bit more cool tone on me, whereas the eyeshadows and other products in the range are definitely warm tone. So with this more cool tone lipstick, I love pairing it with cool and neutral toned eyeshadow looks. Runway Royalty is a newer favorite lipstick of mine. This is a relatively recent launch from Charlotte Tilbury. Beautiful, cool tone neutral in her kissing formula. It's glossy, it's pretty. This lipstick I definitely enjoy pairing with more cool tone looks and it's one I'm reaching for all the time. I do find it's a little bit darker than I tend to enjoy in summer, but now that we're getting into fall, I expect to see this lipstick living in my purse. Wedding Bells is such a beautiful shade. It's still in that neutral family, 
but it adds just a little pop of color, a little bit of a berry nude, and I think, again, it is so, so flattering. This is a lipstick I really enjoy reaching for in springtime, when flowers are in bloom, when it's wedding season. I mean, it's called Wedding Bells for a reason. Another thing that I love about this lipstick when you put it on is it's called Wedding Bells. I don't know, there's just something about that that just, I think, makes me feel romantic and light and pretty. And if anyone says that a lipstick's name um, or its packaging can't evoke something in you, they're lying to you because this one, I think, is just, it's such a beautiful bridal lipstick. I think it's beautiful to wear at a wedding. I I love trying to wear this lipstick to a wedding because there's just something so fun about it but I find it really brightens up my face I think it just it just makes me want to smile and I love it I just love this lipstick Super U is one of her nude matte lipsticks I find it very very comfortable on the lips this nude lipstick veers a little bit more into the terracotta family so I love wearing a lipstick like this now that we're getting into fall I find that it is really flattering with fall fashion with fall colors with fall choices and well of course this is a lipstick you can wear year round for me I do find that I enjoy those subtle differences in tone as we move from season to season I think this is a very flattering lipstick on me and one that just really nicely defines my lips and just provides that nice little bit of contrast. Glowing Jen is a kissing lipstick from her Hot Lips 2 range and this lipstick has a little bit of a subtle brick quality to it. Again, this is a lipstick I love wearing as we're heading into fall. Of course, again, you can wear it year round, but my preference is fall time. I just think that sort of muted brown tone brick red that just is sort of underlying this nude lipstick is really, really pretty in the fall. Really pretty with fall fashion and I love just the pop it gives my lips and I love, love, love the glossy finish. Nude Romance is again in her kissing formula and it is a beautiful brown tone nude neutral shade. This lipstick, I know, I know I've been saying it a lot, but I have sort of categorized the lipsticks in this video into sort of color groupings or a bit of a color gradient. Another lipstick I love wearing in the fall. I think this is a really polished and professional lipstick, so I really enjoy wearing this one to work. I think that it doesn't look too youthful or girly. I think it looks really sophisticated and put together, and it really flatters sort of a brown gold eye look, kind of like what I have going on right now. It's just a lipstick I absolutely love reaching for. Red Carpet Red is such a beautiful red lipstick. It is a matte red lipstick, so, so classic, beautiful for holiday parties, very, very elegant as we head into fall and winter. Just a lipstick that I love reaching for. It's a true tone red with maybe a slight blue undertone, and I find it just so beautiful and just confidence building and so, so comfortable. So if you're looking for a beautiful red lipstick in Charlotte's formula, I can't recommend this one enough. Bitch Perfect, Very Victoria, JK Magic, Pillow Talk, Runway Royalty, Wedding Bells, Super You, Glowing Jen, Nude Romance, and Red Carpet. And so there we have it, my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, the top 10 Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I recommend if you have a complexion similar to mine, which is fair with neutral undertones. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are. And in particular, if you have a different complexion or undertone than mine, include that in the comments because I would love for this comment section to be a place that is helpful for anybody looking to find a beautiful Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.